Hello and welcome to the fifth video in a series on upgrading Wonderware system platform from versions 2012 and 2012 R2 to version 2014. This video will focus on upgrading the Wonderware information server. The process involves four steps. First we'll ensure we backed up the server configuration. Then we'll upgrade the software then we will apply the new licenses and then we'll start the information server and verify functionality. Let's begin. As with the other videos, um, in this demonstration we'll be using uh, VMware's ESXi virtualization host server. We'll select our information server we'll, and we'll open up a console or go to full screen in this case. The first thing that we need to do is verify that we do indeed have a backup. And we do have a backup. When you do create a backup, it will create a cab file and a text document that goes along with it. So we've got a backup of the system. We've inserted our DVD-ROM. And it will pop up the autoplay uh, dialog box. If it does not pop up the, uh, the autoplay dialog box, please navigate to your DVD drive and run the setup.exe program. We click on the, the uh, setup.exe and it begins by bringing up the prerequisites dialog box. In this case we have to uh, install Microsoft.NET Framework version 4.5 and Microsoft Visual C++ uh, 10.0 Service Pack 1. So let's click on the Install Prerequisites button and it will begin the procedure for installing the prereqs. Now depending on how fast your system is it may take a little while then it may take a little longer. Once that process completes then we simply click on the next button. We get an informational message saying these are the components that will be upgraded uh, with this, pr this process. Click on OK. Sometimes you may get this particular message saying the, the AA His Client Reporting Service is still running. So to stop it, we simply right click on the taskbar, select Task Manager or Start Task Manager. And if we look in the left hand pane under or the left hand column under Image Name, you can find that service that's running. Right click on it and End Process. Select the box, say in process. So you can close Task Manager and then simply click Try Again. And the process is gone and just simply click Next. Here you have this uh, dialog box talk about the upgrade readiness checks. Uh, please read that and then click on Next. We can verify that these are the components that will be upgraded during the procedure and then click on next. And that begins the upgrade process. We get another dialog box informing us that other prerequisites have been met. We click on next. Verify again that these are the items that will be upgraded and click on upgrade. And this begins the actual upgrade process. Now, depending on the performance of your system, this can take a, a little bit of time or it can take a lot of time. Now, you may get this informational message that says that the there's a uh, some type of application or in this case the Wonderware vendor daemon is in use by another by a, an application um, to kill this particular process 
simply come down to start and then go to orchestra license manager kind of move this out of the way locate the server and say stop license server once it's successfully stopped you can close the license utility and simply try again and that begins the process anew once the installation is successful you click on configure once it's completed you get a message that says warning setup is not complete the system must be rebooted to finalize installation so simply click on the reboot now and the system will go down and then you can complete your installation when it reboots once the system successfully reboots You'll be, you'll be presented with the configurator utility. We begin by coming down to information server and we'll uh, start configuring it with the appropriate user information. Under database configuration you can either use the um, Windows authentication or in this case I'm going to use I'm going to use SQL. I'm going to configure my username for my application account and then I'm going to con uh, click on configure you get this these informational messages that are in yellow they simply mean that certain virtual directories already exist and so the configurator will remove those virtual uh, directories and uh, create new ones. Now once that process is complete it'll let us know in the informational window down at the bottom and we will select the next component which is Active Factory reporting. So we have to just come down here and configure our historian source or historian configuration. I'll use, be using my SQL authentication. And click on configure. and once that's done it'll say upgrade complete and we'll move on to the orchestra reporting and here there's no configurable items since this is just an upgrade and we're going to click on configure Once that's complete, we do have the choice of uh, upgraded informational model, but we're not using it in this particular um, setup. So I'll just click close. And then I'm going to reboot the server. To allow everything to start up normally. Now once the system has successfully rebooted, we will install the licenses. We do that by going to Start, All Programs, locate the Invences folder, and select 
Invensys License Manager. So in this case, since we're just upgrading a license that's already there, we want to work with this machine only. I'll uninstall licenses that are currently there. And then I'll install new licenses. So import and install licenses. I'll click on the open button here. Navigate to my new licenses and select the new license. And since this is the Wonderware information server, I'll process more license files. Import and install another license. I click on the button and locate the orchestra server.lic file as well. Select open. Click on next. And say save. Reread was successful. Click on next and select exit. Now we can open up our home page and verify functionality. Okay, the web page comes up. We can click on uh, some of the components. In this case, I'm going to click on Active Factory. Then I'm going to select Trend. And we verify that we have connected uh, to our historian. And we can check on license information and see that we have acquired the licenses. Thank you. And that concludes upgrading the Wonderware Information Server from System Platform or Wonderware System Platform 2012 and 2012 R2 to 2014. Thanks for watching.